Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. Yay. Okay, so Video Studio X9. Last time I showed you a new filter from the new Blue Essential 7 package, and today I'm going to do the exact same thing, and this time I'm going to be showing you the Auto Pan. Let's have a look at Auto Pan. Here it is in the new Blue Essential 7 package. You double click or just click and drag. I don't know why I said double click. Now we double click, and then we go straight into Custom Filter. It just popped up on the other monitor, so I'll just drag this across. There you go. Alrighty, it's so simple. It's child's play. Basically, here is your start, here is your end, and thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. Okay, for starters, I never use keyframes, so I uncheck keyframes. So basically, if you don't know what that means, anytime I make any adjustment here, one of these little red nodes will pop up. You know what? I'll show you. Watch this. I move this, bam, node pops up. I move this, bam, a node pops up. So that's what it does. So you actually set the keyframe to these commands. And if you don't want that, Uncheck this, all right? So meanwhile, I'm just going to delete that keyframe and delete that keyframe because it's not needed. Okay, right to the beginning. That's the best place to start, right? At the beginning. Duh. Okay, so here we go. Really quick overview here. You got all your presets, which I hardly ever use because it's never what I actually want, so I want to do everything manually. And if I use setup view, look what happens. I'm first off, I'll just move this here, and let's say I want to start on this guy and then move my cursor or my timeline all the way to the end and then start and finish on this ugly guy. All right, there you go. Let's go back to the timeline, to the beginning. All right, now if you see here, set up view, this is exactly what it does. Watch when I click it, you're gonna get a blue and a red screen. So basically that indicates this is the start and this is the finish. If I press play now or just move it, nothing happens because we're in a setup view because we're just setting everything up so we know what happens. If I uncheck it and then press play, you'll see what it does. See how it moves from one person to the next, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. Now, you can also then manipulate this by, say, zooming in a bit. So I want to zoom in a bit more, and then if I get to the other side, I want to, you know, let's zoom out a bit more or really zoom in on this guy's ugly head. Uh, and there you go. So that's what exactly what it does. See how easy it is to work with things like this? All right, I'll give you a quick explanation uh, what this is here. So let's say in the beginning you want to hold this person for, say, uh, two seconds or a second, let's say one second. So this keyframe has now been told, hold this picture for one second and then move. So let's do that. And now he's going to move, okay? Now, no point if you're going to move it to hold it for 10 seconds and your clip is five seconds long, right? That's kind of retarded. So just look at your timeline and look at your counter here. So if I move it right to the end, it'll tell me this clip is five seconds and 14 frames. So. If I, if I literally make this six seconds long, it'll hold itself, and then the very last frame, it just pops onto the last one, which is kind of look really silly, isn't it? So don't do that. Same with the end. It's self-explanatory. If I get to the end for one, and I want to hold it there at the end, so two seconds before it reaches the end, or whatever time I allocate it to, it will hold that. So let's, just, let's move it across, and then hold that. There you go. Otherwise, we'll just get to the end and stop, and that's not what we want. We want to get to the end and hold it for two seconds. Okay, so there you go. That's what it does. We don't want this here. Okay, I'm going to explain animation velocity. Smooth. Basically, what this means, it's going to, it's going to come in real smooth and finish real smooth. It's going to be consistent all the way through. So there's no increase or decrease of speed as this travels along the timeline. If I ease in, what will happen in? It will come in real easy, and at the end, it speeds up. So it ends abruptly. Same with ease out, but opposite. It starts abruptly, and it goes along the time frame at the same speed. Linear basically means it'll start and stop fast. It'll come in fast, move real, real constant, and then end real fast. So that's what these four do for you. So realistically, this is all there is to it to this auto pan and as you can see it is so simple to use it's child's play and i've used it for a couple of projects already and i absolutely love this little filter so there you go my friends auto pan and zoom in the new video blue essential 7 package and as always thanks for watching